guys and welcome back to my channel I'm King Dino and on this video I'm going to be making new blinds for my camper van because these ain't staying but before we get into the video today please go down the bottom like subscribe ring that bell and tell everyone about us all right guys let's get into this video all right, so in the last video you would have seen that I put up these beautiful curtains um, Yes, no, they're not staying. So when we got the van, uh, actually, if you wanna see the other videos that I've done, if you haven't been up to date, go down below, I'll link them in and get up to date. Um, but otherwise, we are here, we've got these temporary curtains that we whipped up with some sticker tape on there so we don't get people, oops, let's hit the TV. Um, so we don't get people prying in while we're doing our renovations since we're, you know, in our driveway. Um, Anyway, so they're coming down and I've come up with a brilliant idea, thank you, um, to do new curtains. Now, it did come with curtains, um, but uh, a little bit smelly and um, a little bit dated and we wanted to go for something a bit newer, more modern and a bit more crisp. So, I went to Spotlight um, in Australia, that's a place that sells material, blinds and all the rest of it. Anyway, went there and got the best bargain ever. Um, so basically they had a sale on, the blinds were, for two pairs of blinds, they were $250, reduced to $70, and then, wait for it, wait for it, I got them for $35 a pack. I did, I tell you, I did buy three packs um, because we've got a few bits and pieces that I want to do with them, but it, was the best idea ever um so these are it as you can see so my uh, got a good yep no that's the right way so basically you can see here you've got them here um so it was half that price and what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be cutting them pretty much just like across and then hemming them up simple got my nan's old sewing machine and it works fantastic so in this video you're going to see me make those blinds but before we even go there, before we even go there, I have been busy. Besides doing this tabletop, which you would have saw in the last video, I've got to take that to my brother's. He's going to cut it down and I'm going to lacquer that. All these little things, you know, it just makes it's a fine detail, people. It's a fine detail. Anyway, guess what? I went and brought our home. Because the old frame had been in here for a while and people have been sleeping on it, because obviously it's a bed slash frame. And it wasn't, the, it wasn't the best phone, it wasn't best quality. Good quality, high density, this is awesome. Um, and guess what? Doesn't stink. Fantastic, you know, because there's a build up of sweat. I don't mind smelling my own self, but don't want to smell strangers. Anyway, so we have got the foam. Let me cut to a video of the guy cutting it. So we had it all cut to size. It was not cheap. So when you're going to buy foam, especially in Australia, uh, yeah, expect to pay a pretty penny. $500. Anyway, but it's worth it. It's going to be great. Anyway, let me show you this video. What is that? I love the way he just has that machine. It cuts through it. Boom, done. Fantastic, good job. Anyway, so now let's go inside and start sewing these curtains and cutting them. And let's uh, get this show on the, the road. Big ones, I'm pretty much just laying it out. I've got, see this is the old one. And it's just you put the little hook through there. On these bigger ones, I just put it through the top one. And then I'm just cutting it down the side. Now this is the blind that goes between the cabin and the back of the van. And so I'm gonna make it longer so it goes all the way to the ground to stop the light coming through the front and to help with heating and cooling. So yeah, so extending that, cutting it down there, then I've got to fold it over, sew down that edge, then fold it up to wherever it goes to and hem the bottom. So that is as simple as you can get and that's just from a pair of those. So my last one I'm doing and Twyla's helped me. Hey baby girl. <laughs> she's, she's busy watching. All right, well, I better get to work. So basically how I'm doing my hem 
and the side of my curtains is basically where it's cut, I fold it over about a centimetre, I pin it down, I sew along here, then to make the bigger hem, oh, then I iron it, then I fold it back over again to do a nicer, cleaner look. And that's it. All right, let's get sewing. So this is how I'm coming up with the helmet idea. I'm using the hem, so, because I mean, this is gonna get thrown out. So I'm using the actual hem of the bottom of the blind. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure about two centimeters out. I'm gonna fold it in and then I'm gonna take this Velcro off the old helmet and put it onto the new one. Cause you know how expensive this stuff is? It's ridiculous. So anything you can reuse, reuse it. But really, yeah, they've definitely got to go. Ugh. But anyway, these are gonna look beautiful. Take that off there. Let's get this happening. So now I need to unpick this off the old. So I'm using this little tool here, little um, pick. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, oh, there goes Twyla. So yeah, I'm just gonna unpick it. And then once I get enough of it undone, I am gonna rip it off. So simple, so good. I say it's simple, but I'm still going. Once you get it to that point, you literally, with this, how perfect and how easy does that come off? And they're gonna reuse this Velcro. That cost a fortune. How cool. Once you saw me put them together, now I'm gonna put them up. So down with the old, yes. And then on with the new. Now let me get the camera in to show you that how these work. So this is the blind that I've done. Okay, these are the hooks that you see me put in, okay. And then up close, let me just move the camera over. Here is um, the little bits that they go into. So simple, so simple. All right, guys, I'm gonna get these up. Let's see how we go. This out, this is the finished look. Look how clean this looks. It just makes it look so much better. So I can literally remove this. It's just Velcro. I can wash it, clean it. So especially if you're cooking in the van, we're gonna try to cook out of the van, but in saying that if it's raining outside, we are gonna be cooking inside. So if oil and stuff gets on here and you don't want that smell in here, we can at least take them off and wash them. But how good is that? And we just pin it back up. Velcro it back up, I should say. Velcro it back up and look at that. How good does that look? I'm so excited. All right, so I've done the blinds. I've done the palmets. Now, let's have a look at the finished look. That looks so much better. All finished and looking amazing. Now all I need to do is make some damn seat covers.